Hi, and welcome to our first coding class. Sorry, I'm not there with you, but I want to talk you through some basic coding notes that you will need for the next couple weeks, um, and some basic background information about HTML and CSS coding, which is the type of coding we'll be using this year. These notes might not make sense right away, um, but as we get into the coding program and the tutorials that we'll be doing, uh, these notes will help you as well as make more sense. So let's go ahead and get started. What is HTML? First off, HTML is the first language that you will start coding in. And it is the language that people use in today's world to make websites. It is the basic website coding language. And the letters HTML, of course, stand for something. So it is hyper, text, markup, language. I give you two computer monitors and one of them is coded and then one of them is the reflected website what would appear on your screen because of the coding. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that this, 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 and this are all pieces of HTML code. Some things that you can notice about what HTML code looks like. For one, it has these angled bracket symbols around it. Two, there are pairs. So I have body here, body here, H1 here, H1 here, H or P here, P here. They come in pairs. We're going to learn about that in a little bit. And Everything is lower cased inside the coding. So that's just some important points before we get into the notes to notice on this coding screen. This screen is what the code would make happen on your computer screen website. So you had a heading, you have a paragraph about me, um, and that is all because of this coding over here. This website does not look pretty because HTML simply puts the content or the words on my screen. It does not make things look pretty. Generally, we code HTML first because before you make your content look pretty, of course, you want to have all your content there. HTML uses what we call tags, and we talked about that up in this first computer screen. A tag is some piece of writing that has these angled brackets around it. And then everything that we write inside of this tag will be lowercase. So I could write out in my margin a bunch of different tags for you all of them are lowercase and come between the angled brackets. Every piece of code, every tag, starts with what we call an open tag. And an example of that would be like the H1 tag or a OL tag. Notice how it looks. These are all open tags over here. Every line of code also ends with a matching tag, but this one is called the close tag. And it is called close because you have this backslash to make it called close. So an example of a close would be close H1 or close OL. If I came over to our list over here of examples and I wanted to put all the closed version of those tags, all I would have to do is put the backslash div backslash H1 backslash H4 and backslash article. So now I have opened here Closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, closed. 
I've opened and closed every one of those tags. 